Hey, what's up you guys, Blackwing K here, and welcome to another Genshin Impact video. We are once again continuing the Hu Tao story quest. Wow, uh, I think Xiao's story quest was actually much shorter than this, wasn't it? Silly. Because we are... This is the third video, like for Xiao, I think it was only one or two. I don't remember, I'm sorry, but yeah. We are continuing, guys, with the Hu Tao story quest. We already spoke to uh, the guy who I thought was Big G at first, but it's actually Little Wu. And funny nicknames, yo. Funny nicknames. Well, actually, no, this would. No, Little Wu has to be his nickname. That's not his actual name. His name would be Wu something anyway. He knows about the others somehow. I don't know how he knows, but I guess we'll find out very soon. Well, I, like One I said, client, this is probably going to be the last clients, part because I feel like we're reaching a conclusion in this little story quest of Hu Tao. Right? So I wonder what's going to happen at the end. I wonder what's going to happen. Anyway, guys, uh, remember to like the video, press like, and make sure you're subscribed because you are probably not subscribed to this channel. Again, let me take this time to let you know that 91% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribers. I know, I was shocked too. 91%, that's a big number. 91% is nothing to scoff at. But yeah, make sure you're subscribed and like or dislike. Let's go. Moo moo. Uh, not you again. I told you, I'm not interested in the inner workings of Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. It's like the aggression levels of these characters are going to be increasing. He's definitely a little more uh, agitated by this. Mun told us about you. You're good friends, right? Uh, that's true, yes. Come to think of it, I remember he did join Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor recently. It didn't take long for his good friends to figure out why. <sighs> the Big G incident. But I know there's nothing we can say to help him get over it. Letting go of the past is a painful process. I would know. Oh, so what I can gather from this is that... So Mung was much more closer to Big G. Well, you know, because... You know, you're always in a group of friends, and maybe, like, you have this circle of friends, and you could be more friends with this one than the other. Like, you could all consider yourselves best of friends, but, you know, like, you have that one person you talk to more than the other, and then, oftentimes, maybe you rotate. Like, you know, one week you talk to this guy more, one week you talk to that other guy some more. Heck, maybe you have, like, a whole month you talk to that girl some more, you know, you just, like, or you just all, like, in a whole group chat, you all converse equally and whatnot. Uh, you know, you have your friends, you have your best friends and whatnot. Maybe these guys were best of friends. Huh. I definitely can see that. So, is Big G the reason you're here to see me? How did you know? We didn't even say anything! Yeah, please explain. How do you know? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm a businessman. I won't go spilling your secrets. Everyone hears the name Moo Moo and thinks I must be dim-witted. <laughs> I never heard I didn't the think end that. of it when I set up shop. But... I'd say I proved a few people wrong. Definitely not the impression I thought when I saw your name, Moo Moo. Here, take this. It's a top-of-the-line toy box we all dreamed of owning as kids. Back then, none of us could afford it. We were penniless. Today, business is booming. I ended up buying loads of these. It was a dream come true. Wow, you must be, like, super rich. <laughs> Uh, for me, it's a memento of a childhood long gone. Without it, we wouldn't be where we are today. So, having found me, I guess you'll be looking for Little Wu and Songzu next. Songzu. Mm-hmm. We already saw Little Wu. Now we gotta find Songzu. I see. If it's Songzu you're after, let's meet at the overpass at Feiyun Slope. It's just above the staircase leading down to the dock. Okay. I've got an errand to run. I'll come find you as soon as I'm done. Wait a second, so are all these characters actually going to be there for the farewell? I thought we were trying to be luxurious toy box. Okay. You know, that, that story actually kind of touched me because I, I kind of feel it. You know, as we grow up, uh, I'm here talking as a fellow adult to other fellow adults. You know, as we grow up, you know, we have things as kids that... We always wanted, but never could, especially if you come from, you know, the poverty side. Uh, I definitely was not the wealthiest kid. Uh, did not have the wealthiest family growing up, you know. 
it took a lot to get where we are now but yeah there's definitely lots of things you've always wanted as a child and you know you feel that you know i wish i could get where am i going I'm supposed to go there. Huh, I'm an idiot. But yeah, there's yeah. always times that you feel like you always wanted something as a kid. You can never get it. But when you grow up, it's like you no longer have a need for it because you've already grown up. But you wish you would have had it as a kid, right? So that's kind of my interpretation of the childhood long gone type of thing, uh, which I definitely relate to. And it, honestly, just talking about it made me tear up a bit. You know, it is a childhood long gone. I wish I could go back to the past. I'm pretty sure a lot of people would like to some people actually wouldn't mind being where they are because we got where we are because of how we grew up right like it's pretty much obvious if you're talking in that regard we are who we are today because of the past all right let's continue here oh there you are all three of them wow huh? you're all here reminiscing about old times thinking back to past events Oh, so you do this frequently. Our hometown was completely destroyed in a disaster, so we've got nowhere to go back to. Now, home is wherever friends are. I like that saying. Home is wherever the friends are. They've just been telling me you're looking for keepsakes? Well, I don't think I've seen any other characters so far that has bags under their eyes. That's why I could tell, like, she it looks she, she looks more mature that way. Like, you know, she's a more mature woman. I make artisan sail lanterns down by Liyue Harbor. I guess they represent me better than anything. She definitely sounds younger, so maybe she's, like, overworking herself? A few days ago, I bought some quality plostrite shards. They're currently all in the warehouse at the dock. I've already spoken to the manager. Could I ask you to retrieve them for me? Seems like you already know what's going on. Be back in a jiffy. Well, so much for keeping things, you know, uh, on the low. They already know what's going on. So I'm expecting something to happen here. So let's see. All right, let's go. go. So guys, is it bothering you right now that Hu Tao is like dying? <laughs> I actually got one of them. I think that was a little unfair because they didn't get to load in properly. So I killed one of the birds without them loading in properly, huh? Damn, look at this. It's loading as I go through. Ah, that's the struggles of a PlayStation 4 player. Oh, it's you? You're the manager? Go Sun Air. Hey, who's that skulking around? Hi! We're here to pick up the Plastrate Shards for Sansa. This is awkward. Uh, oh, there you go. Mentioned it. Uh, yes, here you are in the register. No problem. <laughs> yo, why is he like that? <laughs> his, yo, I mean, he buried his whole face in like his shoulder right there. What the hell? Yo, you good, man? The plostrite shards are over in that crate there. Please help yourselves. That is funny. You a funny dude. Go, you a funny dude. Like they're here. Let's look someplace else. Doesn't seem like they're here. Let's look someplace else. Oh, there we go. Mm, as I gaze out upon this the is like what Sunzo was talking about. What's at that? No. All right, let's head over there. All right, looks like we're gonna go back to that overpass where they're at. And also, guys, I want to apologize. I, I know I'm. I'm kind of close to my microphone right now just the way I have things set up but I hope my voice is not too loud I, I'm trying to keep it you know under control I know I'm 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 conscious of the fact that I'm, I'm very close to my microphone so I hope the audio is okay again I can't really do an audio test for this so yeah all right let's see my thanks to both of you this looks like great stuff please wait a moment this is the final step Shonzi, Monster, okay. Plastery Shards. There we go. That always goes by so fast, I can't read it. I wrote all five of our names inside the lantern. You know, during the annual lantern rite, we all release a lantern like this. Oh yeah, that just happened. The event that just happened, right? No matter what the days may bring, whichever roads we choose to take, 
While this rite remains observed, each of us remains the same. As for the matter of Big G, the three of us have discussed amongst ourselves and agreed we won't press you on it. Ah, uh, okay, so you guys knew what was up, but you decided to just leave it as it is. Like, whatever business Mung is trying to, you know, do, just leave it at that. But if you get the chance, please let them know we're doing well. And that the things we once spoke of, they've all come to pass. What? And I won't press you on the things we spoke of? You can count on us. Thank you. We'll pass it on. Big G is lucky to have friends like you. We got everything we need. Let's go to Wulong Hill and find Hu Tao and the others. All right. Nostalgic Junch. Yo, you imagine we could eat that? I don't think they'll let us do that. The custom made Shao Lantern. Where are all those items at? They should be in the. Yes, in here. So that I don't use it. No way they would let me destroy that. I'm not even going to attempt that. So, nostalgic giant chili chicken, the luxurious toy box, and the custom made Shao Lantern. Uh, what happens if I talk to them? You know, I just realized. Mine's the only item that's been outright purchased. Yours are both handmade. But yours is worth a lot more. Worth and more is not what's important here. These things all played a big part in our childhood. They show that we will never forget our promise. Hmm. All right. Uh, where is Hu Tao? Where is Hu Tao? Not the one that you see on the screen right now. Uh, are they... Oh, they're... Whoa. Where are we going? Oh, we're going to Wu Wan? Okay, we're going back there. Cool. Let's go. Uh, hmm. That's not the right one we're going to. We're going here. I'm not going to be tricked by that again. Look at that. If you're wondering why you couldn't hear her, it is because of the dang loading screen. She started doing her idle animation while I'm still in the loading screen. Oh my god, isn't that ridiculous? Dang, man, the PlayStation 4 and the dang loading screens and the low frame issues and whatnot. I hope they kind of work and fix that. I mean, you know, it's all about the next generation, but still. So yeah, these are the blue little fiery spirit things that I was talking about. And we did meet a ghost here before, but yeah, we're, we're already past that. We are already past that. Let's go and meet the others. We don't want to keep them waiting. This is actually a good spot as well around here to get the Chinchin flowers in case you needed some. Good location here. Oh, you're back already? Sooner than I expected. Oh, uh, yeah, we know We know what we're doing. That's how we didn't work. didn't go spilling the beans, did you, Paimon? Wow. You're, you're asking Paimon right away, not even me. I mean, you kind of did let it out at the end where it's like, well, Big G sure is lucky to have friends like you. Kind of implying that we've already been talking to Big G and we know him a little bit. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, looks like they were willing to hand over some keepsakes. So I guess they knew the deal. Mm-hmm. Yep. They knew the gist of it. Nevertheless, when it comes to things like ghosts and ghouls, spirits and souls, the one thing everyone knows is you never know what to expect. Which explains why they were reluctant to pry and find out the full story. Which is just as well. Because if they had attempted to, it would have been too much for me to deal with. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't tell if you're serious anymore. Guard the border between life and death. This is Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's most important responsibility. And I'm stricter than most. I see. So what about us? Does it matter if we cross the border? Of course not. After all, you were caught up in all this already, just like Mung. It's not the end of the world if you catch a glimpse behind the curtain. And where we're going, don't be surprised at what you may see or what may occur. What are we about to see? All of it exists within the border between the living and the dead. An ordinary place, really. The only special thing about it is that nobody really knows about it. Whatever you do, don't get all worked up over nothing, okay? Or else, by the time we're out, I'll have to erase your memories. <laughs> please do not do that. Please, 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 please don't do that. So listen to everything I say. Let's go. I'm unscared. But like Hutao says, we're already caught up in this. We better see it through to the end. 
Yeah, might as well. I mean, we're a traveler. This is part of our traveling journey. The perfect send-off. Go to the ordinary place mentioned by Hu Tao. Where, uh, is it far from here? Oh, it's right up there. Huh? Makes sense that it would be right here because, you know... <sighs> what? A random event all the way here? Is it them? If it's them, we can, we can go ahead and quickly do it then. Stabilize. I don't think it's them. <sighs> Let me see real quick. It's not even appearing here. Is it you guys? I can't even tell. And now the hilly trolls are having some issues spawning. Oh my god. I got caught in that rock. Oh my god, it's so amazing playing with Hu Tao. With the shield on, especially, you know, to prevent your death. I'm just using this to collect this. So it was them, right? That was the random event? <laughs> Yay. Ten experience for companion. Yay. Alright. <laughs> Sorry about that, Hu Tao. I got a little sidetracked there. You know, duty calls, as they say. Where are they at? I'm like so lost. Oh, it's gonna be a domain. Oh, enter the border. Okay, I, I figured they were gonna do it like this. Okay, I think I saw this either on Facebook or Reddit. I don't remember, but somebody was like saying like, uh, guys, how do I do this domain or something? You know, <sighs> whatever stupid post it was. Cause I, like, again, I, I still feel the same way about how people are posting on Facebook in any group, really. I'm still feeling salty about that. Uh, yeah, I mean... Let's go ahead and do it. I got two pyro characters, so we're good. I got my bases covered. Okay, so I wonder... Is this gonna be like, um... Alright, it's already looking a little different, obviously. Ooh. In the Wu Wang style. But is this gonna be like Xiao's wow. Domain? What is this place? Somewhere close to death. But not like the Heller Underworld from the Tales of Old. This is just a place where the ley lines tend to go a little bit haywire. Oh. So keep your cool. Follow me. The farewell ceremony site is just up ahead. Man, hitting vines with Hu Tao seems dangerous. She already loses HP when I do her skill. What am I supposed to do? Hmm. I'll play it safe. I'll play it safe and use Xinyang. But yeah, I was saying... You know, if it was going to be the same thing like in Xiao's uh, domain that we did, where he went into his ult and we stayed there permanently, you know, throughout the whole thing. That should be enough. There we go. Oh, I could use Jean-Li's shield as well. That pattern looks familiar. From the right angle, you can make out the whole thing. Oh, just like last time. Oh, that's not the right angle. Uh, hmm. There we go, there we go. Damn, it almost had it. Right there, right there. Come on. Think that? I mean, it's solid yellow, but there we go. I guess I have to stand directly under the little 
the shining thing on the floor. You made that way too easy, Mihoyo. Next time, just uh. Next time, no hand holding, please. Ah, who am I kidding? I didn't notice that was there anyway, so. Alright, let's get ready with you. You know, I gotta double shield it up, and now we destroy them. Let's get a bit of HP back, you know. Ooh, purveyor of punishment. What does that mean? What it I'll check it out later. Yeah, you actually freaking got me with that bastard. Once again, there we go. Hey, yo, it's that's uh, amazing. There we go. It's nice having another pyro character on our team. That's why it's named the Border. You can't just cross whenever you please. You need to have a little. How do people normally put it? Pomp and ceremony. Perfect time for Shinyan to shine. There we go. As a matter of fact, have a little bit of Jean Lee as well before I go crazy on you. I'm not even using her ability as well. That little uh, blood thing. You know what that reminds me of, actually? Soi Fong from Bleach. With her uh, Suzumibachi. Uh, that she kills you in two, in two hits if she hits you in the same spot. Suzumibachi. I can't, re I can't believe I remember her Zanpak Toe. Well... Oh, the bat. I didn't notice that. Thankfully, there's not a long recharge time. I imagine Adventurers Guild members are good at making order of things. See if you can find a way to get the right things into the right places. Usually, it requires a bit of destruction as well as elemental reactions. On your marks. All right, let's do it. You talking to us? Alright, we got it. Alright, so let's stand directly on the glowing thing here and... Uh... Okay, it's not as easy as before, huh? Okay. There we go. Thank you for not holding my hand. You tricked me. I was standing on the same thing as before, but I didn't get it. Alright, so what is this? Oh, I see. Uh, so where's the other one going to be at? I guess we have to go back up. Hmm. She did mention destruction. Let me see something. I'm like there thinking about what... Okay, I came from here. I thought I came from the other place. Right, I remember I walked in like this and then they started attacking. Oh, whoa. Almost missed that. Did I miss a chest back there? I could have sworn I kind of saw a chest. I'm gonna have to backtrack real quick before I proceed. Uh, yeah, give me a second. I'll be right back.
Well, I didn't see anything when I went back, so if I missed anything further back, that's on me. Yeah. Gotta pay more attention. Alright, so what's gonna be here? Of course. Of course. Solidify! Crossover, I like that. Oh my god, Dendro. Dendro is very dangerous here. Because we're using a pyro character, we burn things, and for some reason, we take, like, immense amount of damage. That's what I've noticed with Dendro characters. Which is why I'm getting very excited, because Dendro... The Dendro element is probably going to be a very huge support for pyro characters. And pyro characters are already so strong to begin with, so... You know? Go ahead and cross over. There we go. That that attack that they lose, they take damage when that flower's on them. So I said it's like Soifan's ability, except you know I don't kill them in two hits. Uh oh, gotta be careful. That's not what I wanted to do. Stabilize. There we go. Done and done. Yeah, what was I saying before? Uh, I lost my train of thought there. Yo, my voice is already leaving, you know. I... <clears throat> I don't know why. It's not like before that I could go on. I remember I did hours and hours of live streams back in the day, but, you know... It would be the same thing. I could still keep up with this voice. Like, like I, if I if I was doing a live stream right now, I could still keep talking. That's not a problem. There was no chest back there, right? Now I'm a little self-conscious about that. Me missing a chest. This is the right way, right? Alright, I see that there. Gotta be careful with the spider, and it's still got me. Come on. Oh, I can't climb it? Damn you. There we go. I think I put it too close to the web. Alright, so how many do we have to look for? Two again? Well, one's right here. May as well just go ahead and do it. Hmm. Make sure I don't miss anything. Man, I could easily just fall down here and die, huh? Huh? So we gotta swim? Interesting. How am I gonna get back then? Aside from the old, uh, you know, the old dungeons that we had to go through to ascend our car um, ascend our world rank, the world level, you know what I mean. Uh, this is a pretty in-depth domain. You know, they're all pretty unique. I like that they kind of do look the same when you go in, but in reality, they're really not. They each bring in their own element, so I really like that. This whole domains thing. Uh, go ahead, Shenyang. Solidify. Why not? Why not, right? Always gotta keep looking back, you know. Don't wanna miss anything. It, what? Hmm. The torches are doing that thing where you go by them and they light up automatically. I was here already, right? What? Oh, okay. I was like, did I miss it? I have to go back again? Huh? Isn't this where we just were before? Well, we got what we came for anyway. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> there we go. All right, let's go put this guy in. Oh no. Oh no. Oh great. I see what's going on here. Okay. Wow. I'm like, I thought that would be easy. You know, we put it in and that's it. That's the what? So did I do something wrong? Okay, I went that way. What? I gotta hurry up and reach the land because I'm about to drown. Oh god, I'm about to drown. Hutao, you can make it! Oh my god, that's really cutting in close. That's really cutting it close. I should have paid attention. I'm sorry, Hutao. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Yeah, you ain't gonna catch me slacking like that. So... What? Power core. Does it have something to do with the torches? What in that is going on? Have we even been moving forward this whole time? It's almost as if we're constantly being sent back to the beginning. Everything resets. Um, I mean, this is the second time it's happening. I like the fifth time. I don't, I don't exaggerate like that. Uh, hmm. Okay. Right, so it's back in the center. We're stuck. The spirits have trapped us. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't be daft. You've put my mind at rest. Seems it's not easy for ordinary folks to cross over. So you set us up? Yeah. If you don't have enough, then why not just carry it through a few more times? I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Okay. I, I, I was literally going to think of doing that right now. Like... What if I go take the little spirit thingy with me instead of putting it there? Because apparently what happens is, I guess, if you put it back and you walk again, uh, it resets. So I guess, you know, third time's the charm. The first time we did it, we went around and they were like, oh, okay, hopefully this is not, there's no time limit on this. Because I know um, the animal flies, the one that lets you like fly up, those usually have a time limit before they go back to where you found them at. So let's... Let's make haste here. I just noticed, Hutao's story quest is kind of long. And to be completely honest with you, I don't mind it one bit. Power core. Ah, just jump over it. Going with the speed run strat. All right, let's keep going. And there you go, the second one. So I guess we'll just take it. The spirits have trapped us. Oh, he's gonna say the same thing again. Don't be daft. You've put my mind at rest. Seems it's not easy for ordinary folks to cross over. So you set us up? Oh, yeah. Finally. Paima thought we were going to be trapped in that weird place forever. I, I want to see, okay, now, I'm really curious. I want to see um, more people play through this. So again, you know, of course, after I'm done with this, I'm going to be watching YouTube, going to be watching different people's reactions to this. Uh, for those who do it, you know, because not a lot of people go through the story. They just do showcases of characters and, uh, you know, I guess that's what I got to watch the live streams for, but. They always live stream at such odd hours. Last night, somebody started streaming like at four in the morning. I'm like, come on, I can't stay. I, come on, man, I'm sleeping. I can't go on the live. But yeah, uh, this is a weird, awkward 
thing that I just left it on. But yeah, like I'm saying, um, I want to see how different people do this. Like, are they really going to know on the the first time around that, oh, you're supposed to carry that with you again so the second one appears? Like, as soon as we went through that loop again, what came through my head was like, what if I take this with me and then maybe another one's going to spawn here? And literally she says, why don't you carry it with you and see what happens? That's exactly the point. Trespassers end up running scared. So that's the weird stuff out of the way, right? Yep. <laughs> Just dive off the edge here. Uh, we won't take any fall damage, right? Well, of course, with the wind glider, uh, fall damage is non-existent. I'm so scared, though. Guess we just keep going. I had faith. I had faith that there was water here. I heard water, I'm like, well, I'm probably gonna land in the water, so... Let's do it. So how are we gonna get back out? We're going deeper and deeper. Is there, like, a exit somewhere? There probably is. It, 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 this is definitely not the first time Hu Tao's been here. Hey, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Thank you. All right. Welcome to the farewell ceremony site. Our destination is just up ahead. Oh, so we're finally here. Good. You're good. excited, so feel free to have a look around and talk amongst yourselves. Soon you'll find out there's nothing special about this place. Oh, except a few treasure chests. I'm definitely gonna get that. Alright. Ooh, a geo sigil. What? Uh oh. What? Okay. Ghosts! Longshi? Are you clients? Apologies. This is just a little unexpected. Seeing that it was Hu Tao that brought you puts me at ease. But I'm afraid we don't have the means to entertain guests here. Wait, so do you often get people that cross here? Somehow? My name is Lan Si. I've been waiting for someone for a long time now. Exactly how long, I couldn't really say. Wow. Everyone says waiting is difficult. But walking, watching, talking to newcomers, and the old crowd... It helps to pass the time. I can keep waiting, but who knows whether what I'm waiting for will ever come to pass. It's all the same to me. Waiting's all I can do anyway. But if you too are looking for someone important to you, it's best not to keep waiting forever. Interesting. So there's two ways I interpreted that. Either she says that she's waiting for someone to cross over so they can finally reunite. Because this is definitely the gate. Wow, this place looks... Like, I can feel it. I, <laughs> I can feel it, though. Like, you know how... So mystical and... You know. I guess it's I'm really, you know, getting carried with the, by the story. But, uh, yeah. So, the two ways I interpreted it. Either she's waiting for someone to cross over. Or she passed. While she was waiting for someone... And she regrets that she never got to like meet this person because she kept waiting and whatnot instead of going when out to find out, this person. In That's like the way I interpreted it. It's in pretty interesting. Moonlight. Are you new here? Zhu Ming. What a coincidence, so am I. What do you mean, Zhu Ming? I can't believe how nice the scenery is. I thought it'd be all pitch black and freezing cold with no sense of space or time. Here I can finally work out a lifetime of emotions. It's fantastic. <laughs> Perhaps I just set my expectations too low. Uh, this one was not as deep as Lang Okay, there's more people. There's more people. By the way, have you seen Uncle Jean recently? I can't see- oh my god. I couldn't see his head for a second. Wait, what? Why does his head disappear like that? Look at that, his head is completely gone. He's talking to a headless guy. That guy? I remember him saying it was time for him to move on. Ugh. Good for him. I wonder where he's off to next. I love how the ghosts or spirits here are just having a casual if conversation. Curious, why don't we go and see for ourselves? Wait, so you guys 
it's optional for you guys to just linger here? You don't have to pass on like that? <laughs> uh, some other time, perhaps. I'd oh. like to stay here for a while. So this is probably where Big G came from. So far, we're just seeing a lot of grown folk. Not really much kids. Oh, there are kids. It's the lantern right again. Wouldn't it be cool if we got to see the lanterns ourselves one day? Wait, a memory. So are these like... Yeah, this has to be from Big G. It has to be. Memories from Big G are being projected here. You can make a wish without a lantern, you know. My mom told me. Shanja. As long as you yell it really loud, your wish will come true in the future. What? They say you shouldn't say it. Yell it? Isn't that kind of embarrassing? As soon as the first person yells, then everyone else just joins in. And nobody feels embarrassed anymore. Okay. Big G sounded normal, and now Mung, his memory self, sounds a lot like Big G right now. Hmm. That's Just right. something I noticed. Little Lou, you start. All right. I. I wish I could open a massive restaurant with never-ending dishes and snacks, so I could enjoy you and chili chicken every day. <laughs> That's your wish. Hmm. So his wish came true. If that's so funny, what's your wish? To get rich, of course. Do big business and make a load of Mora. With Mora, you can do whatever you want and be happy. Yeah, if you get rich, you can buy that super expensive toy box. Not just one, one for everyone. No, loads for everyone. Wow. Well, if Momo's gonna be a businessman, then I don't need to earn any money. Whoa, 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 it's tough getting rich. Don't put all the pressure on me. As for me, I want to learn to make Ming Xiao lanterns. The big kind! And Xiao lanterns, too. I'll be the best artisan around. Yeah! That way we don't need to go to Liyue Harbor to release Xiao lanterns. Uh, anyway, those are our wishes. Mung, Big G, what about you? Alright, what were their wishes? Me? Because we don't know their wishes. to make his wish it brings back so many memories that was the last lantern ride the five of us spent together it's been so long everyone's all grown up have all those wishes really come true we can prove it to you we asked each of them for parting gifts for you little Wu's become a chef Momo's a successful businessman and Songza makes great Sanza. shell lanterns that name is going to be very difficult to remember. Sansa. Only because of how it's written and how it's pronounced. Oh, boy. Really? Yeah. So what were your wishes? Wow. Don't We've do that. We've never forgotten our childhood dreams. We've kept them in our hearts as a promise to each other. Because the second he starts crying, I'm ready to ball out. Like, I'm teary-eyed right now. After looking at that? Huh. Anyway. Time to release this lantern. Hey, take a hint. Let's give them some space to go over the good old days. So I'm pretty sure we're almost, almost done here. Uh, I don't know. Um, I want to end it off here real quick. Again, you know, I... Like... I probably only have like a few minutes left of this anyway, but you know, I want to play it on the safe side. I'm not sure how this is going to go on the editing process. Again, I can't edit over an hour long video and whatnot. So just a minute on the safe side, we're going to end off here. But again, stay tuned for the next video coming out real soon. Like the video, subscribe, make sure you're subscribed because you probably aren't. So please make sure you're subscribed and I will catch you in the next video. Blackwing K signing out.